What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to another Division video. Today we're going to be talking about all 15 locations for all the world bosses or light zone bosses, whatever you prefer to say. So without further ado, let's jump into the video. So before I get started, I just want to let everyone know that there are currently 15 open world or light zone bosses in Manhattan right now that you can farm once every 4 hours. So basically once you kill a target, you can no longer farm it again for another 4 hours because that's the respawn cooldown time on them. So the benefits are that they're super rewarding because just like a regular boss, they can drop an exotic or classified item, which is the best loot in the game. And also they're very easy to get to. So unlike doing a regular mission where you'd normally have to fight through the entire thing, you can just go directly to them because they are just roaming the streets of Manhattan. However, like I said, the downsides are that they respawn once every four hours. So you can't just keep doing this over and over again. And you also do have to do a little bit of hiking to get to them and fast traveling. So it does take a little bit of time to get to them, but they are very easy compared to doing a regular mission. All right, so now getting into the video, what you want to do is you want to fast travel to Autumn's Hope. It's in the top left hand corner of the map. And our first target we're going for is called Bullet King. Once you exit the safe house, take a right. And then once you come out to the street, take a left. And Bullet King will be patrolling this area. So once you've dealt with him, open up your map and then fast travel to the Wolves Den, just left of the first safe house we were at. And now the second target we're going for is called Soretto. And he'll be patrolling down by the basketball court. So once you're here, start running out. Once you exit the door, take an immediate right. Head down this ladder. You'll see all these school buses. Once you get out to the street, just take a right and follow the street down for a little ways. Right before these two buses take a left through this alleyway you'll see some parked trucks in here head through the opening in this chain link fence take a right onto this street and here's the basketball court right on our left and there is Soretto So once you pick up the loot from him, just make sure you finish off any targets. So once you kill Soretto at the basketball court, simply head right and just keep going down that road we were initially following. And we're going to the train tracks now to kill our third target called Strings. So just keep going straight down this road. So you'll see this overpass we're on right now. Head to the other side of the street, take a left, and then head down these stairs. And then now we're on the train tracks. Just follow the train tracks all the way down. And he might spawn in that cave, or he might already be roaming around. He's already roaming around this time. Let's go ahead and take him out. There may be some cleaners here who are normally fighting them, but sometimes they're not. So once you kill strings, open up your map again and head down to Kerman Station, the safe house right down by the docks on the left hand side, just under the west side piers. Once you're here, Simply exit the safe house. Make your way up the stairs. And then once you reach the top, do a 180. 
and start running towards this garage over here. Head over to these boxes and just mantle your way over. It is the fastest way around this building. Head over the roof and jump down onto this truck. Now I like to stay far left over here because there are a bunch of mobs in this electronics store to my right. And if you do aggro them, you're going to have to kill them all before you can fast travel out of here. So I recommend just staying far left over here by these buses. And you'll see these cop cruisers. Just keep heading forward. Cross the street, head over this barrier, and then hop and cover right behind this truck. And this is the fourth target called Erskine. He is a cleaner. So he'll always be surrounded by just two bars, so he's pretty easy to take out. Once you take care of him, open up your map again, and then head over to the Cavern Safe House, just west of Broadway Emporium. And now we're going for our fifth target called Fumes. So he's going to be located in the subway underground. So once you're at the safe house, simply run forward. Don't take the other exit. You want to go this way. Climb up these ladders because we need to get back up to street level. So once you make it back up to street level, you want to take a left. And now you'll see this stand right here on the sidewalk. Right after this stand, there's a chain link fence with a door in it. Head through the alleyway. Once you get to this, take a right. Then there'll be another chain link fence with a door in it. Right after that, take an immediate left. Head down this alleyway back to the other street. You'll see Kobe's right in front of you. Take a left and stay on this side of the sidewalk. And the entrance to the subway is right here. And Fumes is gonna be patrolling right here. So once you deal with him, open up your map again and fast travel to Madison Field Hospital. It's just outside of the base of operations. And we're going for our sixth target called Frey. And he'll be in the alleyway between the blocks. So once you get to Madison Field Hospital, basically just take a right, almost turn around, head right behind this red truck, right next to these cars. Take a left down this alleyway. Once you reach the street, take a right. So you'll see these flags hanging by the power lines. Right before the second one, you want to just take a left, hop the fence. And he'll be patrolling in this area, and there he is. So that was target number six, called Frey. So once you've killed the sixth target, called Frey, Simply just keep running and head over to the street on the other side of the complex that we initially came through on. Off the fence, you'll see this red truck right here. Take a right, 
and now you'll see this stand right outside on the sidewalk and a chain link fence right here in the alleyway. Simply hop over it, head back here, and then take a left. And you'll see this alleyway, just follow this ways down. And now we're going for our seventh target called 5 and he'll always be patrolling back here. So sometimes you will pull aggro, which I do have right now. So if you do pull aggro and you can't fast travel, simply turn around, come back here, take a left, go through this building. And there will be some mobs out here, just simply take care of them. So that way you can fast travel. So once you've dealt with 5 and you can fast travel out of here, you want to head to Napalm Production Site. And we're going for our 8th target called Belzer. He's a cleaner. So once you get to Napalm Production Site, simply turn right and just follow this street a ways down. You'll see these burnt cars right here and some trash trucks off in the distance. Now he normally will be surrounded by a few cleaners. So just keep following this road down and right behind this trash truck, he'll be patrolling. And that is the eighth target called Belzer. So once you've dealt with Belzer, simply take a left right down this street. So you're going to be heading down West 21st Street. And now we're going for a target called Riot. He's going to be our ninth target down by the docks. Or sorry, not down by the docks. He's going to be down by just south of the park. So there will be a few NPC down this street as well, so just keep that in mind. So once you come to the first crossroads, take a right onto 5th Ave. And then you'll see these two no entry signs. Once you hit this end, take a left. And you'll see these fire trucks right here. You wanna take a right just before them and head through the fire station. And then once you reach the street on the other side, take a left again. And then at the end of this road, you'll see some blue tents. Take a right. And you'll see these blue tents all the way down with this chain link fence guarding them. Once you reach the end of this road, take a left. You'll see these parked trucks right here. And there's Riot. He'll always be patrolling in this area.
So once you've dealt with Riot, down just south of the park, you want to open your map. And you're going to want to fast travel to the Ward safe house, just north of Warren Gate Power Plant. And we're going for our 10th target called Chains. He'll be patrolling in the playgrounds inside the park. So once you get to the safe house, simply exit. Once you get out to the street, take an immediate left. Take another left onto this street. And you're going to want to follow this sidewalk a little ways. So you'll travel by that truck with its headlights on. Just stay on the sidewalk to the left. You'll see this basketball court to your right. Just keep heading forward. Head up these stairs. Take another left. Watch out for that IED. And here is the 10th target called Chains. So just kill any remaining NPC so you can fast travel. So once you've dealt with chains, open up your map. And now you're going to want to fast travel to the police academy. It's just south of the South Paw um, safe house. And we're going for our 11th target called Corporal Wright. He's an LMB officer. So once you get to the police academy, simply turn around and head right. You'll see these forklifts. Go through the opening in the chain link fence. Take a left. You'll see all these forklifts back here. Mantle your way up onto this dumpster and then up onto this balcony. And then head up these stairs. And right in this car lot, you'll see him usually. However, he will go out to the street. So if he is out on the street, just head down. Jump on this truck. And he should be right around this area, and there he is. There might be a few LMB with him, just take him out. So once you've dealt with Corporal Wright, oh, just make sure that there are no NPC around, so that way you can't fast travel. So once you've dealt with him, you're going to want to fast travel to, are we able to fast travel? There we go. You're going to want to head to the bottom most right checkpoint of the dark zone on East 31st street. And we're going for our 12th target called Sergeant Lewis. He's also an LMB officer. Once you get to the checkpoint, simply just turn around because you don't want to go into the dark zone. And now from this checkpoint, you're literally just going to go straight down 31st Street. And he'll be just a couple hundred meters down the road. And he usually will be surrounded by a few LMB as well. There he is.
So once you've dealt with Sergeant Lewis, just open your map. And now you want to fast travel to Russian Consulate. Once you get to Russian Consulate, you're going to simply turn right and start heading down the street. You'll see some ambulance trucks in the distance. You're going to want to run by them. And we're going for our 13th target called Corporal Dorseman. So once you reach the end of the street, take a right. You'll see an LMB truck and an LMB checkpoint. Just run right through it. Head through the chain link fence and just keep going down the street. You'll see these buses to your left. So keep in mind there is an LMB checkpoint with mobs in there usually. I like to get right behind this truck right here. And he'll be patrolling back and forth. So they are a little too far down the road for my sticky bomb to hit them. So I'm just going to move up a little bit. And there he is just a little further down the road. So I'm going to move up. So we did alert those mobs back there at that checkpoint. So you are going to have to go kill them. Sometimes you will pull aggro on them. Sometimes you won't. So that is the 13th target called Corporal Dorseman. Once you take care of him, you're going to want to fast travel to the firewall just north of Russian Consulate. And we're going for our 14th target called Sergeant Jax, and he is also LMB. So once you get to the safe house, simply go up the stairs and exit. And then once you come out the safe house, Head over to these boxes right here and just mantle your way over onto the roof. It is a quicker way to go. And then just head down these stairs. And then once you get out here, you're gonna wanna follow second Ave. You'll see this parachute stuck in this tree. Just head under it and keep moving forward. Now you see these LMB trucks everywhere out here. Just keep heading down this street. And here he is on our right. Corporal Dorseman, or sorry, Sergeant Jax, my bad. Now there will be a few LMB with him up here as well. Just make sure you take care of him. And that is the 14th target called Sergeant Jax. So once you've dealt with Sergeant Jax, you simply want to just keep heading down that road you were initially following from the checkpoint. You'll see this no entry sign right here in the middle of the road. Right at that sign, take a left down this street. And now we're going for the 15th and final target called Apollo. 
and he is also an LMB officer. So once you get to the first crossroad, take a right. You'll see another LMB truck. And right behind this wall right here, Apollo usually will be sitting. He may be further down towards that yellow tent in the distance, but he usually is right behind that wall. And there he is. So that is the 15th and final target called Apollo. So that is going to do it for the video. That's all 15 locations of all the world or light zone bosses. I hope you did find the video helpful. And if you did, be sure to leave a thumbs up on it and a comment down below letting me know what you think. And also, don't forget to subscribe to the channel to stay notified of future content I plan on dropping for the division. And as always, take care, have a good one, and I'll catch you in the next video. Peace out.